Hey yo everyone and welcome to a new video. So today we are over here on Danny V2 again with the Overlord Rayquaza evolution but today we are not going to focus way too much on the specific Pokemon power-ups but more on general power and general sources of power that I have over here. Let's start again with the fusion over here that on the last episode we unlocked the last three. Let me just grab my pen. I always forget to to just grab my pen when I start recording the video. There's a, the pen over here. There you go. We got the pen and, and now. So uh, on last episode, we did not complete the fusion that we wanted. And right now we will still unlock the fusion. <clears throat> Unlocking the fusion, this lags, of course, because my emulator sucks. Unlocking the fusion, I want to use this last one over here because it gives me in battle stats and the in battle stats are much better than this. Like the special attack 15%, as I've said on previous episodes, it's not actually true. And you guys can check yourselves in battle with this one and with this one, since you don't uh, lose anything on swapping and trying yourself. And yeah, you guys can will be able to see that uh, it, that's just much better. Let's go to our bag right now and check what we have here to open. So first of all, we have ability cards trying to get a better ability on Rayquaza by playing cross server team. Also, I'll just take uh, like my luck over here and trying to get a ribbon. Okay, we got one ribbon. It's probably not the best one, uh, but let's try to get something better, please. No. I think it's the first ribbon ever over here on the account. It was just one, right? Charm Ribbon, what do you do? Increases all the member Z skill damage by 10% and reduces all the member Z skill damage taken. I mean, since I have nothing else to do, let's just equip this ribbon since it's just much... Uh, at least it's better, right? Let me check over here what we have. I'm going to upgrade them all over here on the Apricon box. This is a, a thing that unlocks at level 80, I believe when you unlock the fishing and the things on your team. So you unlock the fishing and you unlock like um, also the guild, the guild war rewards, this thing. Oh, wait, not. Yeah, it's this thing over here where you guys get rewards for the fishing and you, you guys can uh, not afford the fishing for the apricons and you guys can just improve your apricons that way. On the apricons, I believe that right now I should be suggesting on investing only on a single apricon. Because as I explained on a recent stream, once you get to the level 12 of the apricons, you actually even get extra buffs. So we kind of just want to focus on a single one. So I got them all to level 5. Also, when you unlock, uh, I just have to like go out and refresh, I believe. Let me see buff preview yeah like according to the level that you are on your apricons you also basically just get extra stats and of course my goal would be to getting the speed but later we we will get much more buffs once we reach the level 12 and yeah moving on moving on moving on we did open some ability cards right so now let's just try my luck over here oh no this is the second ability oh no <laughs> Uh, hmm, interesting, my friend. I guess I will, oh my god, my adaptability is gone. Oh no, cut the tape, cut the tape. I will, uh, what is this? No, this is, this is shed skin. This is kind of bad right now. Oh no. Well, mistakes happen and I will just take the stat fest. Steadfast is kind of pointless unless my Eon Duo dies. So, but for now, let's ignore that. Okay. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. And let's go for this one over here. Over here, we did not get anything. And okay, let's go back to this. Okay, this is just a proof that you... Uh, I, I, okay, I'm, I'm kind of mad now. I'm honestly kind of mad. <laughs> it's funny, uh, like, in a way it's funny, but I'm kind of mad. Okay, we did not get anything good. Let's at least get a blue with those things over here. Those less powerful cards, we get a blue. And uh, a blue, please, not just greens. 
and we can just move on. Let's get the, the sniper, and there you go. Dream ability. Dream ability, we only have one chance. You got one chance to do right, and it's tonight. What is this? Oh my god, uh, horrible. It's okay. We move on. Moving on, let's open some Sino friendship cards over here. Some friendship cards. Friendship cards are always nice for your account. You can get those from fishing, or you can also get those from this thing over here from the Pokemon League. And those friendship, like those friendship cards, I keep telling people to get them because once you unlock new buffs and new stuff over here, this is actually just awesome. Let's see if I did unlock anything new. We have something new over here and finally we got the 10 points and we unlock more stuff. In this case we did unlock more crit, which is still more power and on the next we will unlock res. Sometimes like these buffs are just awesome, I, I just keep telling people like you have damage decrease, you have crit, you have damage increase somewhere as well. Look at that, the damage increase like which is basically just global damage, like it doesn't even it's just it's just more stuff it's just more damage it's better you might not notice like the power in your stats but sometimes there are things that you cannot notice in you, the power itself and that thing matters and moving on finally to one of the main reasons why we are here today which is the recycle event so i do have myself a picture uh of like a previous video actually which is like how much you need for a full recycle event of good resources for your account. We usually don't want to take the Overlord stickers since they are like really expensive, but we want instead to get things that will power up our account. So my main goal is to get these materials over here for the Z-Ring and these materials over here for the Rotom. But keeping in mind, these materials you can only use when, let me see, let me go to my ring. You can only use when your ring reaches the level uh, 50, right? And you have your ring upgraded. In my situation, I do not have any ring upgraded. Well, one of the main reasons is because this is a secondary account and I don't put my, uh, <laughs> like, my full time dedicated to this account. But the thing is, even if you do not have uh, your ring upgraded it's good that you can just get yourself ready for the future what this means is that if you do have the resources to get both the rotom items and also the ring items you just get the ring items because you are preparing yourself for the future when you unlock that ring when you finally unlock a ring, a bracelet, uh, when you finally just max this one out, you will just get a lot of stats that you just got in your bag for free. It's not technically not for free, but let me take a look at what do we have here for Recycle. One of the things that we have for Recycle and uh, one of the big things is the EXP cards. EXP cards you guys usually get also from playing on the cross server gyms, just leaving your Pokemon, your team over here uh, and you guys get the, the, um, the EXP cards over time. What this does is like you guys just have to be super careful, don't be like me, so do not click over here, okay? Do not click over here, otherwise all of your EXP cards will be gone. So if you guys want to save for a recycle event, you guys don't might not need EXP cards anymore. Just go look at this. Look at how much I get just from EXP cards. Now for a full event, I need a total of how much? 367 and 500, right? So now I'm going to take out a little bit of those super chests as well, which my math is uh, bad, so I'll just do it bit by bit. 367 and 655. That's good. If I would want to be exact, uh, I would just t try to take out some of the other items. You guys can see also see over here and click on the points to see how, how much uh, each item is worth. And you guys can just do your math that way. But in this situation, there's no point for me on being super exact since it's only 155 points. So it should be okay. We click on recycle and it asks me if I want to put purple and golden items, which are these ones. But you guys always make sure that you are recycling the items that you don't care about. In my situation, I would kind of use the berries 
So I will just take off the berries and put one more of these things. So I am off by, by like what? 1000, I have like 1000 extra. So I, I guess I can just take off those and, and I'll be okay with that. So we click on recycle and we get the points. The berries, uh, I am uh, just taking off the berries because the berries are used for the mount and my mount is still not maxed. So right now I'll just st start <laughs> like start over here exchanging all the items that I can and I'll just speed up the video and I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there we go. Okay, we finally got all of the exchanges and now the first thing that we are going to do is going over here to the Rotom. Where's the road? Rotom over here. And now we notice that we would need still one of the, like a bunch of those moonstones to upgrade our Rotom. In my situation, I need around 80 moonstones, which is pretty expensive. And uh, honestly, let me just do the math real quick. Let me pull, pull up the calculator. Since I have 71 moonstones, I would need 79 to, to make the 150, right? So 79 times... 8,000, oh god, this is not good, 632. <sighs> so, you guys could notice from my voice that I was pretty uh, annoyed, okay? So, like, getting moonstones from the recycle event ends up being a very expensive. I would only advise people to do it if you have extra resources. If you are low on resources, it's better to save for an the other things or save for a future recycle event. So, what happens over there is that uh, since I did not have enough moon moonstones, I completely stopped recording so moonstones can be obtained on two ways right so one of them is the recycle event the other way would be playing over here the battle frontier and that's the reason why i don't have much because of this being a secondary account i don't always play the battle frontier and as you can see all you have to do is getting at least 3.5k points every month to get all the moonstones available on the battle frontier so it, i mean it, you guys should play this okay don't be like me on the secondary account that i forgot to play this and then uh, i got a little bit sad okay because that will save you a lot of resources and, and yeah like this way i'm gonna, just gonna show you guys the current state of the account so this is the current state of the account. We have an overload request already at 7 million and 61k. So we did level up, like we did power up some base resources, some base stats, some uh, overall other random things. And honestly, I'm sorry uh, if the ending of this episode kind of disappointed you guys. I am sorry for that since uh, I honestly lost all the motivation the moment I, I was recording and I reached here and I was like, oh no, I don't have enough. What do I do now? So yeah, like on that day, I completely lost my motivation. So I'm really sorry people for, for those who were expecting a different ending, but I'll promise you like the be next episode will be different. And I still hope that you guys did learn something from this episode because every every day every episode uh my objective is to teach you guys something different or teach you guys some uh give you guys some opinions and some advices for your future gameplay so yeah without further ado i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys on the next video